there, let's try today's time guesser. It is June 30th, and if you're not familiar with this game, the goal is to figure out where and in what year a given photo was taken. So this is, hello, okay. It says it's Broadway in fifth, Olympic grocery, Knudsen's fresh milk. So it's Broadway in fifth somewhere. It's a very old car. There's some like, I don't know what those are, campers or something? A little girl in a little skirt we're carrying a doll and a little, what is that, like a med kit? <laughs> Toy med kit? That's cute. Here's, I wonder if he's Knudsen. Fifth Avenue and Broadway. That is very strange. It's probably not real. Olympic. Grocery, fresh milk. I don't know where this is. I want this to be California, but I can't tell. I, they, they didn't have plates like that, I don't think. What's going on here? Wow, this one's crazy. I mean, it could be Los Angeles. Why does my brain want it to be Los Angeles? There's no way. Is there? Olympic. There's a street called Olympic in LA, but when? Okay, when? Let's think about when. I'm thinking 30s. And then Los Angeles is much more built, built up than, than this in the 30s, but... Those hills back there. I keep zooming on random things trying to figure out what I'm looking at. What's going on over here? Gosh. Could it be earlier? I mean, it's got wiring and stuff. I don't think it's much earlier than the 30s. Nitsons, Nitsons. I've heard of it. Well, I have the feeling this is not going to be a 5K here. I'm trying to decide if this is a decorative sign or if it's actually the street corner, because these roads aren't even paved. And that doesn't look like a road. <laughs> it's like parking over here. I'm trying to figure out this too. Are these like like mobile homes or manufactured homes or something? Or trailers? It's really hard to tell what's going on. I mean, there's no way this is downtown Los Angeles in the 30s. We had a photo that was downtown Los Angeles in the 30s and it definitely didn't look like this. Uh, I wonder what it could be though. Nudsons. It's ringing a bell and I cannot place where I've, where I've seen Nudsons Dairy. I'm pretty sure it's still a thing. Such a cute picture. I feel like I could almost see the state on this plate, and then I would know. Um, I don't know. And I don't like that I don't know. Maybe like, I, I just, I'm really trying to figure out if this is an actual street sign or if it's just decorative because Broadway and Fifth, that's like, like Broadway, like New York. It's obviously not New York. It feels like California. This feels like the hills I can see from my house, but that doesn't look like a California license plate. And 
just I just have no idea. It's really I really really don't know. Um pick something. Pick something, pick something. Chicago? Oh, Chicago's pretty flat. Um there's hills. All right, I'm going for California. I I don't think it's California, but I Maybe New York State. Maybe New York State. I don't know. I don't know. All right, I am going, since I have absolutely no idea, I'm going to plonk. No, I'm not. There's, there's those hills, and we're up on a hill. Okay. Let's go. I mean, most of this was, the valley was farms in the 30s, so I guess. All right, I'm plopping it in the valley here. It's probably very wrong, and I'm going to go 33. Holy cow! It was 5th and Broadway, Los Angeles. In 1933. What's there now? <laughs> wow. There's a Planet Fitness there. Certainly is not. See, I thought Knudsen's was familiar as a California brand. Okay. I feel so much better about that. I'm like, that looks like LA. That's the view I from my house. Like, I don't live in this area of LA at all, but... Wow. Look how built up it is now. I mean, obviously all of LA is built up. You can't go anywhere without concrete jungle, but I can't believe I got it that close. That's amazing. Okay, moving on. Okay, Anzac Bridge, Harbor Bridge. This has got to be Abercrombie Street. Uh, we're driving on the left, on the Left, yeah. Oh my gosh. I got confused for a second. I feel like this is indicative of a place. I know what Anzac is. That's why I'm trying to decide if it's in Australia, but don't they have short license plates? These are not UK license plates for sure, and they're not UK uh, EU license plates. Huh. Um... I feel like if you like lived in that place, you would just know where this is because you've seen this sign. Um, let's try Sydney and see what happens. Maybe we can find it. Let's see. Is there an Anzac Bridge in Sydney? Botany Bay. Um, I was like, does it have a name? <laughs> Tom. I can't read that. It doesn't say Anzac, though, or Harbor. Okay, wait. Sydney Harbor is up here. So let's try that and see if we're even in Sydney. We could be in Melbourne. We could not even... Oh, here! Anzac Bridge. Okay. Good, good thought. Yay. So the Anzac Bridge and the Harbor Bridge are both in that direction, and we're on Abercrombie Street. Where is the Harbor Bridge? There's the Harbor Bridge. So we must be... Huh. How can they both be in the same direction? Abercrombie Street. I'm trying to figure out how these two bridges that are not near each other, can be in the same direction. Maybe over here somewhere. Abercrombie... One-way street. This feels too like I should be able to find it. Let me think this through. 
So to get to both bridges, you need to take one of these roads. I'm sure my Australia, my Sydney contingent. Do I have a Sydney contingent? Anybody out there live in Sydney? I think one of you does. I know somebody is in Melbourne. Let's see. Probably laughing at me. I mean, maybe this building is something. I don't know. Abercrombie Street. It's odd. It's a one-way street, so I don't think it's one of these major roads. Sydney is on my, well, Australia in general, but especially Sydney, is on my bucket list. One day. Okay. I'm trying to be smart about this. How can both, oh, it could be up here. Okay, wait, so this is, where's the Harbor Bridge? This is the Harbor Bridge. And that's not the Anzac Bridge. Where's the Anzac Bridge? Is this the Anzac Bridge? No, what happened to the Anzac Bridge? I lost it. Oh, it's here, right? Yeah, okay. So, I guess it's possible it's up this way. Doesn't feel right. So, it feels like it would be somewhere around here. be really cool to 5k this location but how long do I want to spend searching Sydney roads for Abercrombie I don't even know is it a big road or a small road maybe we're farther away Okay, wait, we have one-way streets marked. A lot of these streets are one-way. So maybe that is useful. I feel like I'm spending a really long time doing this and I don't like want to like bore people, but it feels so gettable that it feels like it would be a shame not to get it. Abercrombie Street! I found it! So, we're turning on to Abercrombie from where? Would you take- how would you use Abercrombie? I should probably put a pin on it so I can find it again. I wonder from where and how far does it go? Is this all Abercrombie? No, that- oh, it's not Abercrombie here. Okay. Okay, so we are somewhat limited. How far this way does it go? Is that it, or is this also Abercrombie? This is also Abercrombie, okay. I'm wondering then, this looks like a fairly wide road. Now why would you, where's my pin? Why would you, okay. I'm wondering if we're on, well, if you're on Cleveland, you wouldn't be making a left onto Abercrombie. I guess if you're going this way, you would. These don't look like stores, though. That could be a hotel. No, it's not one way here. Okay, wait, okay. I bet we're here. Could it be here? Now I'm looking at the shape of the intersection. I'm making a left. Well, it's not those places. Hmm. Something for Jess. Oh, it's for me. That's so nice. Is it Broadway? It doesn't feel like that long, big of a street, does it? That's not a church. I feel like I've become obsessive now. Okay, that that's the end of Abercrombie, though. All right, so let's go... Can we be here? We could be here. Alright, I'm doing it. Now when? This is pretty recent. 
I think. Hard to tell. And it's a bit blurry when you zoom in. Uh, hmm. That could be a quick and easy mark, couldn't it? I don't know. I, I'm leaving it. Uh, let's go 2015. 2017. Very close. Oh, it was Cleveland. Balloon strung to drains as part of a marketing campaign for It Chapter 1. Oh, I didn't even know that the balloons were the important part of this photo. Okay, that was worth the trouble. Look at that. Two really good ones in a row. Okay. Oh, my. Commune di Milano. Presepe movibile. What in the world? Is that Woody Allen? No. So are we in Milan? Presumably? People are in line for something. Huh. This looks very 70s. Maybe 80s? Let me see. It's these colors and the suit. He's got a really long coat. The wide pants. I don't think it's 80s. I think it's 70s. Commune de Milano. If it's not in Milan, then I don't know where it is, but let's try. It looks like a medical thing. There seem to be quite a few of them. Presepe movibile mean? I'm sure I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. I don't quite know what I'm looking for, so... Should I just plop it in Milan and... Also, this could just not be there anymore, in which case... <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know where this is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plonk Milan, because I, I don't know. And I'm going to go with the late 70s. How about 78? Cue for an art exhibition in Milan, 1980. Not bad. I am crushing this one. Okay, so I wouldn't have been able to find it the way I was looking, but I ended up with a pretty good plonk regardless. And pretty good pick of a uh, year. I'll take it. Moving on. Bio Bio. Bio Bio? Maurice Chevalier. I've heard of him. Prince Gimalin. Elakuvasa? Hmm. Where is this? That's not French. Huh. Look at all the people with canes. They look like they're in uniform. Maurice Chevalier. Um... Pringsgemolen. There's a little circle above the A. Bio bio? Bio bio? That seems like a distinctive building, if you knew what it was. I'm going to Stockholm. Probably isn't, but gotta start somewhere. It's 
It's a theater, I guess, right? I don't think... Wait, does Swedish have that letter? I can't remember now. I feel like it doesn't. Hmm. Denmark? Who has that letter? I can't believe I'm drawing this blank. That's annoying. Annoying, annoying, annoying. Um, I'm very tired. Uh, I could be very much barking up the wrong tree. I mean, that certainly could happen. I'm sort of glancing around here. I might throw a pin at the map and see what happens. What am I doing? Copenhagen's over here. I'm assuming it's in a big city. I'm also kind of assuming it'll be a pink um, uh, symbol on the map. <laughs> I wonder if it's that circus building. Hmm. Copenhagen and Norway, well, Denmark and Norway are also on my bucket list. I didn't used to have a big bucket list, but it's grown a lot. It's good to have things you want to do, right? Now I just need money and time. <laughs> like everyone else. One day. Well, I'm pretty sure that's a Danish letter, but I'm not positive it's a Danish letter, and I'm also not positive it's the only language that has that letter. So I'm gonna plonk central Copenhagen and how far bad how far bad can it be? How far bad can it be? Alright, Maurice Ch Maurice Chevalier. They're all wearing like these caps. This doesn't feel right, but I really don't know. Um, 40s? Nineteen thirty. It was Finland. Of course it was. I should have known that. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm, it was pretty bad. Musical comedy, the love parade. All right. Well, I should have plonked Helsinki apparently. Oh well. It was that letter that was throwing me off because it did look like Finnish otherwise. <laughs> All right, moving on. That's okay. Lying in state queue, please expect long delays. Thank you for your patience. Well, this is obviously queuing up to see Queen Elizabeth in London, presumably. And I know the year. Please expect long. British signs are so... Um, Polite. <laughs> All right, I'm assuming it's somewhere around Westminster, right? That's where she, isn't she buried there? Uh, let's see. Look at this line. Information. Information for what? What am I looking at here? So they're not in the street. I don't remember where she was lying in state. It's probably around here, right? All right, we'll just plonk, we'll plonk near Westminster. And we obviously, it was 2022. 
Okay. Ooh, whoa, 2022. Got to get this year right. Come on. This might be my best score, except for the last one. Oh, I was very far. I mean, the year was right. I wasn't very far, but I was definitely looking in the wrong place. Wow, look at that. Oh, well, that makes sense. They were at this pier. Okay. All right, what's my score? Oh, look at that nice round number. That's pretty good. I'm very pleased. All right, thanks for sticking with me. This one got pretty long. We are at half an hour. Um, I probably speeded up some of my hunting around, so it's not a half an hour for you. But thank you for sticking with me anyway. Um, and I hope you have a lovely weekend. And um, yeah, do do good things. Be good person. <laughs> Bye for now.